been an important lifeline for those struggling with depression or even thoughts of harming themselves. And now it's even easier to use. Over the summer, the National Suicide Hotline, they switched to 12 digit numbers and to three digits. The digits are 988. And since that switch, call volume has increased by 45%. The calls are dispatched to local offices, which are now in need of more volunteers. KPIX 5's Kenny Choi shares the story of one man who was once in desperate need of help. Yeah, this is it. J.D. Schramm doesn't need his journal to recount what happened nearly 20 years ago, but is sharing what he wrote that day. A good but busy trip. I'm blessed with so many good friends and great opportunities. I, it was all a sham. Today, Schramm works with a client as a communications coach and often advises Fortune 500 CEOs. He is taught at the Stanford Graduate School of Business. But on June 11, 2003, he nearly ended his life in New York City. When I hit the water from that high of a distance, it's like hitting pavement. Struggling with depression and addiction, he jumped off the Manhattan Bridge, breaking all ribs, puncturing his lung, and shattering an arm. Somehow, the 38-year-old at the time survived. I began calling for help, and there were people on the ferry who could hear my screams and could see me in the water. That was his first real call for help. You've reached the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. As part of the 988 network, the North Bay nonprofit Buckaloo Programs handles thousands of crisis calls from the local area. And you're thinking about taking your own life. All calls are confidential. We did not have access to caller information or hear the voice on the other side of the line. He hung up. After difficult and emotionally intense calls, volunteers and call center staff debrief on how their counseling can improve without identifying callers. Giving people that trust and agency is something that unfortunately they don't get in their in their lives often enough. Callers specifically that like with stories I related to, I find those to be kind of the hardest. Many here know someone who has committed suicide and struggled to get help. James Giffen is a volunteer whose family member is battling heroin addiction. You don't know the other person on the other line and they don't know you, but you care about them as a fellow human being. The call center needs more volunteers to help people like Shram. Today, the 58-year-old is raising two young kids and has been married 14 years. He says eliminating drugs and alcohol, leading a simpler life, and reaching out for help and support have been key. I believed that there was a life better for me than what I had been living, and that it was my journey to find that life. In Novato, Kenny Choi, KPIX 5. The number of suicides did increase by 4% last year, and the program says it's getting about one-third more calls through the new 988 number. If you or someone you know is struggling, you can call or text to initiate a chat with the 988 service through its website. 